no flowers and upright leaves. Time to divide and repot. This is great if you've got a big pond as they grow rapidly and you can divide loads from one large root ball every three years. But as you can see, my pond's very little. Get your water lily out of its container. Gently discard of the extra roots. Hopefully your pond lily isn't as compacted as mine. I need spade and secateurs at the ready. It's actually best to do this in spring and summer, but I'm doing it in the autumn. Separate the tuberous rhizomes and trim them back to about four inches long. That's about 10 centimetres. Each new division should have some growing tips on the top and thin white feeding roots to stimulate new growth. When it comes to replanting, a wide basket would be better for those roots to spread. And you want some clay soil from your garden if you've got that available. Squeeze a handful of soil into a bowl, throw it up and catch it without it breaking up. Then you know if the soil is the right consistency for clay or loam based soil. But for me, I'm just going to scoop up everything that's at the bottom of the pond and I'm going to use that. Obviously after doing this, it's going to make the water cloudy, but it'll soon settle. And mine's a wildlife pond, so I'm using that decomposed organic material instead. Just as an experiment really. So, each new division should have some growing tips on the top and thin white feeding roots to stimulate new growth. When you replant it, spread the rhizomes into the soil on a slight angle, which makes it easier for them to spread. <laughs> 